this Minecraft server host is one of the easiest to set up and best of all, it is completely free. The Minecraft server host that we're talking about in today's episode only takes a few minutes to set up and you'll be playing with your friends in no time. Heck, it's probably going to take you longer to find friends to play with than it will to set this thing up. So make sure and put your server down in the comment section below and let's see if we can get that thing all filled up. And don't worry about the cost. Like I said, this server is completely free. Time is valuable, so I'm going to show you a quick and easy step-by-step -step guide on how to set up your server. But make sure and stick around to the end because I'm going to show you some hidden features that most people do not know about this Minecraft server host. And go ahead and get started. Open up your favorite browser. We're using Opera GX for the first time ever. I don't know if I'm going to like it. Adernos.org. Come down here to the bottom right. Click play. And now you're going to need to go ahead and sign up. You have two options. One, you could use your Google account. Two, you could just click sign up. That's what we're going to do. Doc testing you two. Agree to the terms and services. Agree to the personal data. Click next. Now, go ahead and come up with a password. Subscribe 101 exclamation. All right, now that those two are matched up, go ahead and click sign up. And just like that, that's going to take you to this page right here. Obviously, we're here to create a server. Now, Adenos does give you the options to go ahead and choose the Java edition as well as the Bedrock edition. So it doesn't matter which version of Minecraft you're playing, you can create the server here. We're sticking to Java. Click create. And the first thing that we're going to want to do is come down here to software, click change. And you can see we have a bunch of different options. You can play vanilla, you can play fabric, you can play paper or spigot if you want. Heck, if you're really getting fancy, you could always play forge as well. We're going to go ahead and stick to the old vanilla. I want to go ahead and go with 1.20.4. And if it wasn't downloaded, you'd have this down arrow right here. Now, coming back up here to the server page, click start gonna go and ask you to accept the EULA click yes I accept and it always asks me this to please allow us to send notifications this is only gonna allow you to send notifications through your browser but I click no and just like that you're gonna go ahead and give this thing just a few minutes it's gonna go ahead and get everything all started up the first time you start this thing up it does have to build folder structures and everything like that so it does take a little bit longer than expected Alrighty gamers and just like that you can see we have about five minutes to go ahead and get on that server before it's automatically gonna close yes this server is not 24 7 unfortunately but it is very easy to go ahead and get set up by yourself as well as giving access to a couple of your friends now there's two ways to go ahead and join this server and it's very very simple come up here to connect click on that and it's gonna go ahead and show you your IP address as well as your port information put in your IP colon port that's going to go ahead and get you all set up but you also have this dynamic the dynamic does not change so I'm gonna click copy on that one we're gonna go ahead and open up our Minecraft go to multiplayer go to add server and call this thing whatever you want we'll call it like and subscribe come down here to server address control V to go ahead and paste that click done and there you are there's our server let's double click and jump into that hey what's going on gamers this is dr redstone all right we got the server all set up you can see there the chunk distance rendering is not too far but if we come on over here let's go ahead and chop down this tree real quick punch it like old minecraft steve normally does And there you have it. It's just as simple as that. So now you can go ahead and get this thing set up and send that IP over to your friends without having to worry about any port forwarding or anything like that. All right. And now that you know how to set up your very simple vanilla Minecraft server, I'm going to show you a little bit extra step. We're going to go ahead and stop our server real quick. Let everything go through and save. And now that our server is completely offline, we're going to go ahead and come down here to software. We're going to change this from vanilla. And we want to go and scroll down here to the bottom where it says mod packs. We're going to click on curse forge. And now we have all of these different mod packs that is available to us for absolutely free over on Adernos. Now I haven't tested every single one of these. So if you've tested them and had some that worked or had some that didn't, make sure and put those ones down in the comment section below so we can let the community know. But some of which of my favorite are RL Craft, which does work on Adernos. You also have access to Sky Factory 1 and 4 and many, many others to go ahead and play with with your friends. Super simple to set up. Let's go ahead and find one. 
We'll start with this one right here, Horrorcraft. Click on that. That's gonna go ahead and bring you to this page. Click reinstall. When you reinstall your server, all your settings will be deleted. So if you had a world that you've been playing on, make sure you save that. Yes, reinstall. And the beauty about it is it does show you this website link. If we mouse click over to that, come over to Horrorcraft, it's gonna go ahead and show you the exact mod pack that you're going through and getting set up. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to get that thing set up over on Curse Wars, but if you need to know, let me know down in the comments section below and I'll make that video. Now, this does show you the version and the Minecraft version, version of the mod pack, version of the Minecraft. Come back over here to server, and now all we gotta do is click the start button, as well as the EULA, make sure and accept that one, of course. No, do not send notifications. And all we have to do is wait just a few minutes and we're gonna go ahead and play modern Minecraft with our friends. This was a quick and easy Minecraft tutorial. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, smash the like button. If you guys set one up, make sure and put your IP down in the comment section below, and we'll see how many people we can get that thing filled up with. If you guys want to see more of these or have any suggestions for any other Minecraft tutorials, let me know down in the comment section below. And as always, this is Dr. Redstone signing out. Thanks, YouTube.